Ross? Hi. What's going on? Well, uh, things are going well with uh, Blake, thanks to you. Not so much so with Dinah, as you would imagine. Look, I've been giving this a lot of thought, and uh, I think that Vanessa needs to know that Dinah set up her own kidnapping. Ross, that's the last thing Vanessa needs right now. Now, like me, she deserves to hear the truth. One of us is going to have to tell her. Find Josh. He's the only one who could deal with Sam McCullers. Hi, Mom. Matt, if we keep bailing out Dinah, she's not going to learn a damn thing. Ross, I'm sorry. I can't worry about Dinah right now. I'm worried about Vanessa. Vanessa's tough. She can take an awful lot. You ought to know that by now. Yeah, well, she doesn't need any more guilt to add to what she's already got. Yeah. Killed. Vanessa hasn't done a thing wrong. Ross, she still blames herself for putting Dinah up for adoption. She thinks everything that's going on right now is her fault. Well, look, we're all responsible for our own actions, and I'd like that to include Dinah. Yeah, well, I shouldn't be saying this, but... Vanessa sometimes questions her love for Dinah. Now, we both know that she loves the girl. We know she loves her with all her heart. We saw the way she was when she thought Dinah was missing. She wanted to believe in Dinah, and so did I. Ross, if you have to tell Vanessa, just... Can't you give it some time for her sake? I mean, maybe this whole thing will blow over and it won't be necessary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little time won't hurt, I guess, and I'll think about what you said. I'll see you later. Thanks. Ross. Yeah. I need to set up an appointment with you. Why, are you being sued? Are you going to sue somebody or what? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. But before Vanessa and I get married, I think that we should... When's that going to be, by the way? Soon. Good. Real, real soon. Uh, we need a prenuptial agreement. Oh, Vanessa hasn't said anything about it. I want it. And how does Vanessa feel about that? I haven't told her about it. <laughs> well, maybe we should. Yeah, maybe I should, but uh, I pretty much made up my mind. I uh, I don't want any part of the Lewis fortune, and I certainly don't want people in town going around saying that I'm marrying Vanessa for her money. You're almost too good to be true, you know that? <laughs> Tell that to your daughter. Dinah? Dinah, did you... What are you doing here? Well, at the moment, I'm admiring your daughter's desk. Who would have thought she'd be so orderly? Where is she? I don't know. I came looking for her to see how she's doing. Very well, thank you. Good, glad to hear it. You know, once you've helped save a life, you just automatically develop a certain feeling of interest and responsibility for them. I see. Well, Dinah has parents to take care of her. Would you excuse me? It's a very busy day. Um, one more thing. Um, I wondered if you'd noticed any change in Dinah since the kidnapping. Everybody. Vanessa Chamberlain's office. No. No, this is not her secretary. This is she. Who. Look, I've already told you Josh isn't here. I cannot reach HB. If Mr. McCullers needs to talk to somebody, he'll have to talk to me. Yes, I know. Yes, I am a woman, but he's just going to have to find a way to deal with it. Anything I can do? Just as soon as I have all the details, I will get... Good afternoon to you, too. Yes, all the charm of a concrete block. How nice. What are you still doing here? I'm enjoying the fireworks. You're very good when you're angry. Don't condescend to me, please. I've had enough of that on the telephone just Oh, please, now. don't confuse me with whoever that was. The last thing I would ever do on this earth is underestimate you, Vanessa. Good. I'll tell Donna you stop by. Thank you. You know, she could be a big help to you if you'd let her. She's not interested in Lewis Oil. Give her a chance. She's new to it. You know, as cocky as she is, I think she's very insecure around you. None of my beeswax. Wait a minute. To answer your question, I think she has changed since the kidnapping. Oh? In what way? Well, I wouldn't want a child of mine to have to learn this way, but I think that since then she's gotten a little bit more interested in being responsible. Well, then some good's come out of all that bad. I hope your day picks up. Uh, news about Dinah certainly picked up mine. Bye, Vanessa. Who are you? 
Gordon Downey. I'm a temp. Oh. Let's see how good you are. Mr. Downey, is it? Yes, sir. Direct me to the file room. Go out the door, mm -hmm. turn right, down the hall, make a left, and it's two doors down on the right. Very good. Lewis Oil can use a fellow like you. What are you doing here? Free country, Ross. May I help you? Ah, uh, yes, I'm looking for my daughter, Dinah Marler. Oh, yeah, her. I did see her a while ago. Nah, I'm a temp. That explains a lot. Is Vanessa Chamberlain in conference, or is she free, or what? Well, I don't know, sir. I just got back. Well, we'll just go on in. Come on, go. Oh, no, no. Please, let me buzz her. I'm supposed to always buzz. Oh, well, please do a buzz. Tell her it's uh, Ross and Matt. Hello, Miss Chamberlain. Matt and Ross are here to see you. Just had to come right in. Thank you. Hi. Hey, I thought you were in the file room. No, I was in the kitchen. I was hungry. Well, I guess I better go face her, huh? Don't go in now. She's busy. Oh? Who's having an audience with the queen? Well, two men. A guy named Matt and I think your father. Ross, isn't it? What? I am dead. They are burying me right now. So when Matt told me, I advised him to tell you as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, you just couldn't wait, could you? You just couldn't wait to tell her, huh? Well, why don't I save us all a lot of time and I'll do it for you. It's true. Everything. Dinah, um... I planned a kidnapping with Victor. I told him I was going to split the ransom with him, and I did it because you wouldn't give me my trust fund when I asked for it. I was desperate. Okay? See? I can tell the truth. Did I leave anything out? Not a thing, huh? No? Okay. So, what are you going to do to me, huh? Boil me in oil, tar and feather me, or just lock me up in jail and throw away the key? I'm going to jail. What, what, what's going on? I mean, this is a joke. It's not very funny. But they told you. That's why you're here, isn't it? And you told her. You, you didn't tell her? No, I, I didn't tell her. And I just couldn't do it either. Tell me what? What is going on around here? I mean, everybody seems to know something in this room except for me. What... Dinah, you started this. I suggest you finish it. Yeah, okay. Victor came back to get the money that I owed him, and uh, he wanted me to take Peter, but I convinced him to take me instead. You, you told me that. I, I... Yeah, I, I, I did it because I knew that I could work with Victor. See, I staged the kidnap. I trashed my room at the boarding house so that it looked as though I'd been abducted. At first, I wasn't even his prisoner. I was his partner. I told him what to do. I told him uh, how much to ask for, and I made a deal to split it with him, 50-50. Victor's a scary guy, but I thought I had it under control until Matt showed up. And then it all got very real, and by then I realized I had made a terrible mistake, but it was too late. you know? Since last night. Yeah, Blake convinced Matt to tell me. But you didn't tell me. No, no, I didn't. I didn't want you to be hurt. Would you two just leave? I mean, I like to talk to my daughter alone. Yeah. Dinah? Have I really been that, that hideous towards you? I mean, do you really think that I deserve that? I am really sorry. I know you don't believe that, but I am sorry. You haven't answered my question, Dinah. No, you didn't deserve it. And neither did Daddy. I know this sounds really lame now, but I didn't think anyone would get hurt. It was just a way to get the money. Oh, uh, did you ever think about, you know, what we might have been going through? I didn't then, but I have now. It, at that time, it just seemed like a big adventure. Uh, no one would have to suffer. Look, look, look. I don't expect you to forgive me. What I did was awful, 
And I swear to you, I can honestly see that now. Well, how on earth do you... Why should I believe that? I don't know, but it's the truth. By the time I'd realized what I'd done, it was too late. I mean, it all happened so fast. Victor didn't give me much time to figure it all out. See, I was scared of him. He was dangerous, I know, but I felt like I could control him. Well, you feel like you can control everybody and manipulate everybody, don't you? Things hardly ever work out the way I want them to. Which is why I live minute to minute. At the time, it seemed like a perfect plan. I could keep Victor from taking Peter uh, by substituting myself, and, and then I could still get my inheritance. What about the tapes? I mean, we sat around and we heard you, and you sounded so terrified and so alone and so lost. I was sipping champagne and acting up a storm. The real fear came later when I realized that Victor could turn on me at any time. See, I know he's, he's killed people before and there was really nothing to keep him from killing me. And then when Matt showed up, it was even worse because then he wanted to kill both of us, but then but it was too late to get out of it by then. It was too late, so that's it. That's it. You asked me to be honest. So now what about you? It's your turn. Why are you pretending like you cared what happened to me when you really didn't care if you ever saw me again? Of course I cared. You were faking it as much as I was, pretending to everyone that, that you were so terrified you would never see your daughter again. I was. Oh, come on. You don't really love me. And you never did. Not really. And don't look so shocked. I wasn't, I wasn't shocked. I was fine. I was fine when I heard what happened. What? What happened? What are you talking about? When the police were negotiating with Victor for our release, you had to choose between me and Matt which one of us would be set free first. And you chose Matt. The only one you really care about. You know, I almost feel sorry for Dinah. Yes, well, if this will get her to grow up, it'll be well worth it. Do you see any hope for her at all? Sure. People change. Yeah, but usually only when they have to. I don't know. Vanessa turned my world around, made me look at things a different light, you know? Love can do that. It's just that some people are harder to love than others. That wasn't a choice. It was impossible. But you're just ready to write me off for the rest of my life, aren't you? Do you think it made me feel when I found out that you chose Matt before me? Can you even... Dinah! Dinah, sweetheart. That was not a simple situation. It sounds like it was to me. And it says more about the way you feel than you've ever had the guts to admit. Why don't you just say it? Just say it. What? You hate me. I don't hate you. I don't like you very much at the present moment. But I don't hate you. Despite the fact that you're doing everything in your power to make me feel that way. I am not. I am. Would you just be quiet, please? If you had been with us when we were sitting around and feeling that you might actually not come back to us, I don't believe that you would accuse me of hating you. I didn't sleep. Because I couldn't, I couldn't eat, and I had to have Matt around me all the time just to make sure I didn't go absolutely out of my mind. And then when they took him, I did. And that's when Detective Cutter comes up to me and asks me to make a choice. How could you possibly hold me to anything that might come out of my mouth at that moment? I didn't know what I was saying. I didn't know what I was thinking. I didn't know what I was feeling. Can you honestly say that you would in such a situation? Can you tell me that? No, I can't. You put your father through hell. You put me through hell. I am truly sorry for that. I really am truly sorry for that. Are you? Well, I'm not so sure you know what you're sorry about. And you're going to have to learn. You have a lot to learn, Dinah, and you're going to start right now. 
From now on, you are going to make it by yourself. You're going to go out there, and you're going to clear your desk off, and you're going to get out of here. Fine. <clears throat> Fine. That's the way you want it. I just threw my daughter out of my life. Anybody want to tell me I did the right thing? But that's just the only way that she's going to learn. I don't know. Well, what else could we do? I mean, we got mad at her. We tried bailing her out. She's just going to have to learn that her actions have consequences. Sorry, I, uh, I should have told you sooner. It's okay. I probably would have done the same thing. I probably would have tried to protect you, too. I'm going to go. You two have uh, a lot to deal with. You know, Vanessa, we may not be model parents, but at least we're together on this. And who knows, in the end, it might make some sense. and I've really hurt each other from the day she was born. I don't know, maybe she's just trying to get back at me. Just trying to get even or something. She was a really beautiful little baby. She had a... Uh, Almost a full head of really fine, dark hair. And beautiful eyes. I remember her looking up at me. The doctors let me hold her. They weren't supposed to, but they made an exception. How long were... How long were you with her before? Oh, not long. Maybe a couple of minutes. They didn't want you to spend too much time together because they didn't want you to have a chance to really bond. I remember. I heard the door open. And somebody said it was time. And she grabbed my hand. Put her, she put her hand around my finger, like she knew. Then I closed my eyes, and when I opened them, she was gone. Thank <laughs> you.